The Echo Smart Pen is a note-taking tool with features that allow students to record audio and organize their handwritten notes digitally. Not work that way. Human memory is malleable. A lot of the things that we see It has a built-in microphone, camera, and computer, allowing it to record audio as you take notes, link the audio with your handwritten notes, and store it all to be uploaded to your computer at a later time. With the Echo Smart Pen, students can record lectures as they take notes on specialized note paper and review the recordings using the built-in speaker or their headphones by tapping on any part of their handwritten notes. information from memory. The Echo Desktop app allows the student to save, organize, and play back their notes on their computer at a later time. Kurzweil 3000 is a program designed to help with reading and organizing thoughts. Available as a desktop application or a web-based platform, it reads text aloud, emphasizing words and sentences as it goes. Interdependence in the gains from trade chapter 3. With options to adjust the reading voice and speed. Consider your typical day you wake up in the morning and pour yourself juice from oranges grown in Florida and coffee from beans grown in Brazil. Kurzweil includes several study tools for users, including the ability to add their own highlights and sticky notes, and create custom study guides. There is also a built-in dictionary for easy access. While documents and books can be uploaded to the Kurzweil platform, the Read the Web feature allows users to have text read aloud on any website. New and Prospective Students Otter is speech-to-text technology that allows students to record audio of a lecture or a conversation while viewing an auto-generated transcript in real time. It's available as a web-based app and a mobile app for Apple and Android smartphones and tablets. The students can add highlights, comments, and photos to their notes live, which gives them an opportunity to be an active participant in the note-taking process. What's the reconstructive? So we don't passively store information in memory and then retrieve that information from memory. There's an active process of reconstruction during encoding as well as retrieval so that the Memories you end up retrieving are based on the actual events, some schematic knowledge. I'll give some examples. After the recording is processed, students can access, review, annotate, and organize their notes using both the web-based and the mobile app. It also gives them an option to export their notes as a PDF, Word document, text file, and caption file. If you have any questions about any of the technology shown today, please contact dscetext at uci.edu.